Hello, this is Janice Griffin, Database Performance Evangelist. This video will cover the configuration of SolarWinds Database Performance Analyzer, or DPA for short, to monitor SQL Server and Oracle database instances. It will also show how to set up the VM option if you have database servers residing on VMware. The process of registering database instances for monitoring is similar for all database types. Simply select the Register Database Instance for Monitoring button to begin the registration. Select the database type to register. In this case, we are registering a SQL Server instance. Next, we need to enter the database instance connection information. On this page, we can add the server name or IP, followed by a specific instance name. Or optionally, you can enter the server name and port. Sysadmin credentials are needed to set up the DPA login for monitoring. In this case, we have the choice of Windows or SQL Server authentication. Enter the login credentials that DPA will use when monitoring the instance or accept the defaults. Click on Register to start monitoring the database instance. On the main dashboard, you can view the SQL Server instance being monitored. Next, let's register an Oracle database. Enter connection information for the Oracle instance to be monitored. You can choose either a direct connection, TNS descriptor, or LDAP. For this install, we will use the direct connection method. Enter the service name or SID, host name or IP address, and the port that Oracle is listening on. Also, enter a DBA user that will be temporarily used when setting up the monitoring. The next step is to enter a username for DPA to use on the monitored instance, or accept the default username and password. You can also specify the default and temp tablespaces for this user. Here, you can enable extra monitoring capabilities by selecting Yes for the Oracle eBusiness Suite. Then enter the Sys password as DPA temporarily uses this to set up several views and permissions for the DPA user. Choose the table space in the repository to store DPA performance data for this monitored instance. Click on Register to complete the registration. Now you can view both the SQL Server and Oracle instances being monitored on the main dashboard. If you are running databases on VMware, DPA provides a direct correlation between your VM configuration and database performance. Now, let's configure DPA's VM option. Enter the connection credentials for a VMware vCenter server or ESXi host. After registration, you should see a VM icon next to the monitored instance. Or you can manually link your database instance by selecting the manual link option off of the action tab. Clicking on the Virtualization button at the top of the page will take you to DPA's VM portion of the product. It will take a few days of monitoring to build baselines and historical trends. However, you can begin viewing the current dashboard immediately for the most recent performance data. For more information, be sure to watch our guided tour of DPA.